We come together today in the sight of cherished loved ones as witnesses to join Mary and Dylan in marriage. We gather around them now in this place built by family and we look on with love and hope as these two begin their new life together as one. slices of bread have been spread with a topping, one with peanut butter and the other with jelly, to represent both your lives at this moment. You have gathered and prepared these ingredients both separately and together. Mary made the jam from the blueberries that grow in your garden. Dylan blended the peanut butter, and the two of you baked the bread together. The two slices of bread represent all that each of you have ever been, are now, or ever will be. They are two distinct parts, each capable of being eaten separately. By joining them together, you create something new and nourishing. From now on, you will be one. Your thoughts shall be for each other rather than your individual selves. Your plans shall be mutual. Your joys and sorrows shall be shared. As you each take your piece of bread and combine them, you create a sandwich, which represents the union of your lives into one. I, Mary Elizabeth Brill, take you, Dylan Thomas Parker, to be my husband. I joyfully vow to be your wife, your friend, and your partner in all things and to walk the path of life beside you all the rest of our days. I, Dylan Thomas Parker, take you, Mary Elizabeth Brill, to be my wife. I joyfully vow to be your husband, your friend, and partner in all things, and to walk the path of life with you all the rest of our days. Mary and Dylan, having proclaimed your love and commitment to one another in the eyes of these witnesses, and with the power vested in me by the state of Maryland, I am so happy to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. supported me through the best moments and I don't know how I would have made it through without you. I can't believe that little boy and girl too short to see over the railing of the Berryman's Lane Bridge would go on to become the people that we are. It's all because of you. I can't thank you enough for being who you are and I will always love you as my sister. I can honestly say that there's not a man on earth who could care for her like I have seen you do you pour in and the way that you approach the world, the boundless consideration that you put into every gift, every event, every relationship shows us who you'll be as Mary's husband. You've made it so easy to see this next chapter of my sister's life and we are all so thankful for that. You've already taught me so many things as my friend and I'm so excited to continue learning from you and growing with you as my brother. Let's all raise a glass and cheers to the future 
our dear friends, the Parkers. It's nice to hear your voice again. I've waited all day long, even wrote a song for you. It's strange the way you make me feel. With just a word or two, I'd like to do the same for you. It's nice the way you say my name. Not very fast or slow, just soft and low. The same as when you tell me how you feel. I feel the same way too. I'm very much in love with you. I'm very much in love with you. So people like Mary and Dylan do not happen by accident. They are the result of unconditional love. I want to give the same praise and appreciation to Laura and Harlan as I do to my wife, or Mary, for putting that love into Dylan and making him the man he is today. They have clearly laid the groundwork for Dylan to be the quality, empathetic, intelligent, funny, conscientious, awesome, cat-loving man he is today. <laughs> yep. I've seen Mary and Dylan when they didn't know anyone was watching. I've seen them approach challenges. I've seen them rejoice in each other's happiness. I've seen them through all the turns that life has had to give them over the time they've been together. And I'm here to tell you, Dylan and Mary really have defied the odds. They are the one for each other to make each other complete. And they invited me to go to the Renaissance Festival with them, which was super fun. Um, and it was on my birthday. And it was really the first time, I think, that I spent just time with both of you for an extended period of time where it was you know, just you two and me. And just the amount of kindness and care that they showed for each other, for me, and just every interaction that I saw was, uh, was incredible. Um, I know that we all wish you the best of luck, but because you have each other, I know that you won't even need it. Um, so congratulations and good luck.